Hey, dude, dude, do you know what would help the Blue Jays out immensely? Hmm, I don't know. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And today, we are going to be addressing the rumors. Craig Kimbrell to the Blue Jays? I don't know, but we are going to talk about it and break it all down for you guys today. Before we get into that, though, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and also use our code today, Jays. You will get discounts on both Monkey Knife Fight and Manscaped. It helps the podcast out a bunch. Also, $3 a month. You can call into the show and become a Patreon. Helps us out immensely. Do you know what would help the Blue Jays out immensely? Getting what? a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no let's, let's do, yeah, let's let's do this plan. properly. Let's do this properly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, dude, do you know what would help the Blue Jays out immensely? Hmm, I don't know. What would help the Blue Jays? Well, well, I would argue that a guy with a 0.57 ERA, hmm. a uh, 0.663 whip, uh-huh. and 20 saves... Oh! could potentially help a ball club that is struggling with their bullpen. What you think, big dog? Absolutely, guys. Guys, I literally have in my notebook, in my notebook, he is perfect. We're looking for a veteran reliever. Look no further than Craig Kimbrell, who's figured it out after two rough years. Mm. I want to look back at those two rough years because people are like, oh, this could be like mm. untrustworthy yep. and stuff. No, his whole career has been amazing. Yep. Those two years, 20, in 2019, he was hurt. 2020, you could throw that away. Many people had bad years in 2020. Totally. Throw totally. it away. He's on point. His precision with his four-seam fastball, he's painting the corners. And yeah. same with his curveball. He is dropping it in at the knees. Amazing. I want this guy. Absolutely. Um, and you said the stats. It's amazing. Well, we're, so, all, we're talking about a guy. You're talking about precision. Yeah. We're talking about a guy who has 54 strikeouts over 31.2 innings pitch. Incredible. Incredible. So clearly, he is getting the better of the batters that he is facing right now. And he is, what, 33 years old? He's 33 years old, 33 and years old. he's getting paid $16 million this year. And... There's another year on his contract for another $16 mm. million in 2022. Okay. And okay. we all know how the Blue Jays like to have guys with a little bit more longevity for yep. their organization. However, $16 million is a lot. Are we willing to give $16 million for well, a reliever or what? that is the thing. And I think that that's where the hesitation lies. That's when people start looking at that 2019 and at that 2020 and they go, eh, I'm not so sure because he cost $16 million. And I agree, if he busts, this would be a bad deal. We've all seen it happen with Tanner Rourke. I believe that we wasted $24 million yeah, we did. on that little experiment when it was all said and done. However, 2019 and 2020, like you said, are outliers. We're talking about a dude with a career ERA of 2.08 and a career whip of under 1.0. Yes, he is 33. He is at the back half of his career, the back nine, as some might say. But he is having an incredible year. And this guy, what he could do for us this season, incredible. I, I think it I think it could really make a deep impact on the postseason. I think he is the best fit for us, not only because he's just like a great pitcher. I think out of all the pitchers in the major leagues that are available on the market. He is the best one. Mm. And we can have him for next year as well. Yeah. And he provides that rock solidness that we were gonna hope to get with Kirby, Kirby Yates. Yates. And I'm okay with taking a risk. We have the cap room for it. Frickin' Ross Atkins and Mark Shapiro have come out and said that we have the cap room for it totally. and we will be able to make room for him even if he does bust. If he doesn't, which I don't think he will because I think he's really starting to figure out again getting back now that he's healthy. He's going to be fine. He's yep. going to be actually better than fine. He's going to be exceptional. Oh, he's going to be exceptional. You know? and, and, we should get and, it's, and it's funny that you bring up Shapiro and our management yeah. because I am under the impression for those of you who are um, I guess out of the Chicago Cubs loop, mm. their management yeah. believes that it is time to sell. Buddy, what's his name? Jed Hoyer. Jed President. Hoyer come out President. and said basically like we're gonna sell. They went on a bit of a run. I was a good I was this close to making a video room talking about how they need to be buyers when they were about 10 games above 500. They are now one game below 500. Yeah. It is time to sell. So, with that being considered, with 
us knowing that it would be 16 mil this year, also 16 mil next year. So we are mm -hmm. gonna have to pay this man. I looked at, whoops, I looked at Baseball Trade Simulator, and basically they have his trade value at a zero. Now Bullshit. I think that that's ridiculous. Bullshit. I think that he does cost something. But I think that they put it at a zero because of his age and because of his contract. So I think that they are that site, that algorithm, mm -hmm. kind of anticipating that if you're going to trade for this guy, you might need to be trading for maybe another piece in right. that Chicago Cubs team. Right. Right. I don't know, because it's zero, right? right? Like, do you think that we go out and we trade nothing for nothing? I think that we no, probably... No, no. I mean, we're going to trade a guy who's about zero value. Because people can be negative values in your system. Like, Trevor Bauer's a negative 86. So, just put that in perspective. Well, so, Trevor Bauer is a special case <laughs> yeah, right Yeah, now. he is. He is. So, you know, I do think he's going to cost a little bit more than a zero yes. in, in terms of what all we see a zero as nothing, right? Mm. But he's going to cost more because other people are going to be looking for him. Totally. So, uh, but should we get him? Absolutely. Yes. Actually, I want him more than uh, Rodriguez. I, I don't know why. I think it's because I, I'm in a win now mentality. He's a fucking stud. He feels and I want like a win now guy that yeah. we also have for next year. Too. Exactly. And I'm, we're talking perfect. about a dude who won our team. We could slot in in that ninth inning. And I know, oh, it's Romano's job. And Romano has been Fuck. great. But I mean, this guy has Please. 20 saves. Take it away. 20 saves. Take it away. Mermano could be number, could be the eighth inning guy. Yes. And yes. then it's Simber in the yes. seventh. Then it's Richards in the sixth. Fuck, our bullpen solved. Exactly. Our bullpen is exactly. solved. Exactly, right. This guy has 20 saves. And it's and it's just like the middle of the season now. That's it. If you have 30 saves at the end of the year, yeah. you're considered one of the best closers in the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You know, so yeah. he's on pace to having an incredible year at the closing job. So... I think we need to go out and get him. It will probably cost us some sort of what mid-tier like prospect, maybe like Van Eyck, and like maybe something else, maybe right. cash. I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, it's, it, it might even go up because of the market might be so competitive. Yeah. But it's good. I'm down. I'll, I'm not willing to give up a lot of shit. Yeah. But give me a little bit. Of shit. I'll I'll be honest. I think, and I I think that I want to save this full analysis for another video. But I do believe that potentially going after a Kimbrel could incite conversations or involve talks of another guy on the Cubs. Right. Maybe a Bryant, maybe some other dude that they have because we know that right. they are in full sell mode. And if I'm in full sell mode, I want to ship off all my guys. I want to get as much return as possible. Right. So I think that's what they're going to be looking to do. Don't know if that happens with this guy. Mm. I could see that eventuality, though. Could happen. Guys, let us know in the comments down below if Craig Kimbrell would be a good fit on the Toronto Blue Jays. Let us know what you'd be willing to trade for him because it's kind of up in the air in terms of what his actual value is. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts down below. Totally. You can also check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts. Also, please like and subscribe if you are new and enjoy baseball content. Today, Jays is our code for not only Manscaped, but also for Monkey Knife Eye. $3 a month, you become a Patreon. Shout it and thank you to all of our Patreons that we currently have. You guys are lovely. We really appreciate you. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And go, go Jays, go! go.